Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm continuing work on my used Ender 3 S1 Plus that I bought off eBay. And today I'm converting the hot end over to the Creality ceramic hot end. So let's go ahead and get started. So maybe a week, week and a half ago, I went ahead and bought the ceramic heating block kit for the Sprite extruder. So this should heat really quickly. It should let me use different filaments as well. Let me show you what comes with the kit and point out that I guess I got it for 20% off. I bought two of them and then I also got another 4% off, so 24%. Off. Let's switch over and take a look at the printer. So here's the printer here. Here's the kit. And let's just open this up. And this says it's also for the S1, S1 Pro Plus, and CR10. So if I open it up, I have a couple Allen wrenches, and then the heat block, and everything just comes as one piece. And then it looks like it goes in something like this in the back. So there's a screw here. Let me start by putting the box aside my pieces aside and I'm going to unplug the existing hot end. But before I do this, I just want to point out you're going to do all this with the printer unplugged. So I have the hot end unplugged and then looking at this, it's like there, I have the thermistor unplugged. Now, looking at the directions, and I'm just going to show you the directions like this. Looks like there's a tiny little screw here in the back of the extruder. And that'll probably be what one of these Allen wrenches are for. And I just need to undo that and then I can pull out the existing heat block. So I'm going to pause this and turn the printer around so we can look at it from the back. Now I looked at the back of the printer and it turns out what I'm going to need to do is actually take the extruder He's off on the side, holding the extruder on here. Get the correct size bit on here. Now, it looks like there's five screws. So I just want to put those all aside. Now, I think while I have this out, since this is was used and it doesn't appear to have been used gently, as I showed you in the last video where I got it initially set up, I'm also going to hit this with a can of air. Now, have this all unplugged. We'll just pull that out of the harness. Now, if we look here in the back, there's the screw that's holding the hot end in. So let me hit this with a can of air to get it a little cleaned up. Then I'll come back and we'll undo this screw. So I've cleaned up the hot end a little bit. Now I'm going to point out something I should have pointed out earlier. You noticed I took my PEI sheet off because I didn't want to mess it up if I dropped anything on it. So that may be something you want to do as well. Now, this appears to be incredibly loose. Now, so we have a screw here. Then we also have these screws here in the bottom. So let's take those out. And what I'm seeing is this heat block was incredibly loose which is not a good sign. Again, when you're trying to print, if you have it and everything's loose, that's going to cause you some problems as you're printing because you're, again, the, the nozzle's going to be jostling around. Now, looking up here, Everything looks clean going up this hole here. I don't see anything in there. So now I'm just going to slip my ceramic hot end in here. 
I'm going to push it up so it's flush. So when I flush with mechanism here, I want both the plugs on this side because I'm going to plug them in right here. Now, this is only held in via this grub screw, which should be all right. But we want to make sure this grub screw is nice and tight. And it feels like it's nice and steady. So now while I have this out, I'm going to plug in the thermistor and then plug in the hot end. So they're both plugged in. Now I was a little worried that this, I need a different duct, but this fits perfectly and the duct is blowing right there on the nozzle. So that looks exactly the way I want it. But here's the hot end that was on here. It does look like an all metal hot end. And it's not too gunked up. So what I'm gonna do is put that aside. Maybe I. If I need an emergency one, I'll have it. So now let's go here and start getting these screws back in. Oh yes, I think I have five screws here. That hot end it should not be going anywhere. But as we've seen earlier, you need to make sure everything's nice and tight. So the heat block is tight. The wheels are all tight. Screws are tight. Extruder feel, feels really good. So let's go back up here and plug this in. And then we'll switch over to the screen and make sure everything's actually hooked up and we're getting readings. There we go. So let me pause and then we'll get back over to the screen. So as you can see, I'm getting a reading here. It's 24 degrees, so it's showing ambient temperature. What that tells me right off the bat is that my thermistor is in fact working. So that's really good. So what I'm gonna do is break here. So we've converted our hot end to have the be ceramic for high temp. So it should heat really quickly and then should again, let us use different filament types. And then let me again, pause and then we'll come back and I'll get Clipper running on this printer. I look forward to talking to you again here soon. Thanks, have a good day. Bye. Bye. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one-hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.